All right, so we're gonna make some oatmeal raisin cookies. So I have a cup of raisins. We're gonna be using some eggs, some vanilla extract. I have my sugar. I also have the butter ready to go. We have our flour. We also have the cinnamon inside of there, okay? We have the oats and the brown sugar. So I have a little helper here today and we're gonna go ahead and just get these things inside of our mixer. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our butter and our sugars and we're gonna go ahead and cream those together so that was one and one third cup butter a cup of sugar and a cup of packed brown sugar so we're gonna get that first and get that really creamy before we start to add in um, the other ingredients so let that go and get creamy and in the middle of this scrape down your size too as you go that's very very important Once you have it at the consistency that we're looking for, add in two eggs inside of there. And we're gonna also um, add in our vanilla extract, which is one teaspoon of that. And then we're gonna actually turn the speed up just a little bit so we can get that nice and creamy. It's very important, y'all, to make sure every now and then you stop and you scrape down your sides because you want to make sure you get everything incorporated into your mix, okay? So we're going to let her go ahead and get that done, and then we'll turn this mixer back up. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our dry ingredients, which is the two cups of flour. We have a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt in there, and the one and a half teaspoons ground cinnamon. Okay, so we made she made it a little easier for us. We have a little uh, attachment that goes on. Um, I forgot what it's called, y'all. But yeah, so she's just gonna spoon everything in there, try not to make a big old mess because it will fly everywhere okay it's happened to me before so yeah she's being very smart about this <laughs> and just so you know i've made oatmeal cookies before on this channel but this is a quicker one and plus this one we're going to add in some raisins so right now she went on ahead and added in the oats on this part and once we after we do that we're going to get to the fun part All right, so here's the fun part. Dump some raisins on up in there and let's get mixing. I'm gonna tell you something, adding in these raisins just set this off, y'all. Let me tell you, okay? So yeah, 
she's trying to work it in there now, y'all. You know, she's um, an adult child, but she's my smallest one, and she is doing her best. She's doing a great job, though, y'all. Give her a round of applause, and make sure y'all give her that thumbs up right here. Give her that thumbs up, y'all. All right, so I had to take over for her on the mixing, but now we're gonna go ahead and add these cookies onto this Pamper Shelf Stone Bar Pan. And yeah, you could probably tell that I make cookies on here kind of often. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get these onto the bar pan. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven so that they can bake. All right, so they're out the oven and they baked um, in the oven for, a, I think this batch went in for about 12 minutes and I baked them at 325 degrees. So yeah, that's what those are. So we're gonna go ahead and place these on this wire um, cooling rack. As you see underneath, I have um, some wax paper just to catch the crumbs, but yeah, that is it y'all. So. If you enjoy making these cookies with me and my daughter, go ahead and give us that thumbs up and make sure you join our family by hitting that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload a new video. I hope you enjoy making these with your family. And until next time, y'all, you know, come on, say it with me. I'll see you in a pinch.